Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 26th of November 2022 and in a few hours time I'm going to be making my way down to a place called Burgess Hill in Sussex for an event called Conversation 3 Justice and what it's about, I have talked about this before but it's a group of people who are going to take the BBC, Facebook, the government and the care home to court uh, because someone there in the care home passed away sadly and people think it's because of a certain thing that starts with them and ends with them. So the event tonight is all about raising money to take these people to court because as you know, lawyers cost a lot of money. So we are starting the fundraising process for this, with this event. And I mentioned it a few weeks ago and I know quite a few viewers are gonna be going tonight. So if that's you, I'll see you there later on. Um, the tickets are all sold out, but the good news is it will be live streamed. Uh, hopefully anyway sort of barring technical difficulties and it will be streamed on this channel or this platform here so i'll leave a link for the live uh, stream thing in both the comment section and the description box below here and i'll also be there filming as a backup to that and uh you know i'll be getting all of the speakers all of the uh, you know, ambiance, hopefully, and the atmosphere. And I've got some help with the editing. I think quite a professional editor will be uh, sorting all that side of things out. So hopefully we'll end up with quite a slick uh, video for you to watch in a few days or a couple of weeks time, whenever it's gonna be ready. Uh, but it'll be well worth watching whether you catch that or the live stream tonight and there's some really great speakers. There's the daughter of the lady who passed away in the care home for starters. Uh, there's Jackie DeVoy, who is a presenter on the UNN, Unity News Network, you know, with David Clues, etc. Uh, you've got uh, Kate Shamani's gonna be there, but she'll be speaking tonight. Anna de Bousseret, um Heko Ku, we've got Davy Stewart, who's a peace officer, the one who uh, was arrested here in my nearby town, Crawley, for impersonating a police officer, would you believe? Even though it's obvious that he's not a real police officer, he's a peace officer. And we've got David Curtin, the Heritage Party guy, who's very much on our side. And finally, Dominic Morehouse, who's all about common law. I've mentioned him loads. So some really great speakers there. It's a fantastic lineup of people. Well worth watching if you can catch the live stream tonight uh, or indeed uh, the video that I'll be helping to make in coming days. So I'll let you know when that video is out, obviously um, here in a later video. So some really, really good stuff there and hope to see you there one way or another. So just a follow on from yesterday's video, I mentioned that ridiculous story where they think that all of the people dropping down left, right and centre is down to uh, the likes of us and uh, what we're saying about a certain thing. <laughs> uh, some people came back in the comments section on that video asking um, where I got that story from. Well, I've actually put a link to it now in my uh, Telegram group. So I'll leave an invite link to that in the description box below as well. So you can go and check it out, but it's actually on um, the NIH website. So uh, it is from a pretty credible source. And talking about ridiculous stories, I'm gonna finish off with a proposal or a suggestion 
Now, this was brought into my head by a guy who is a regular viewer and we've been swapping emails, to and fro in, and he was saying, do you remember that ridiculous uh, story that appeared, not sure when it was, probably a couple of years ago, how breaking wind can spread the lurgy? <laughs> I don't know if you remember that, but that is one of the st stupid stories. Also, I kind of responded to him, about the story of, I don't know if you remember this one, but apparently Chinese air crew were told that they have to wear uh, adult nappies or diapers uh, when they're in a flight so they don't have to use the toilets and therefore prevent the spread of the lurgy. So <laughs> that, I, that is honestly a story that came out um, whether the Chinese actually did that, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, um, especially after what I said in yesterday's video, how kind of ridiculous they are about the whole Lurgy thing. But I then suggested to this guy, this viewer, that it'd be a good thing if we kind of started, before we forget about them totally, cataloguing all of these ridiculous stories, all of these ridiculous uh, mandates, um, just as much as we can remember. Um, you know, every, everything from the whole thing where you had to muzzle up when you go into a restaurant, but as soon as you s sat down at your table, you could take your muzzle off and all of that kind of ridiculousness. Yeah, you know, there's been so many of them, so many things that you know don't make didn't make sense or that were totally ridiculous. Uh, we kind of know why that was the case. It's all part of the, uh, you know, sort of um, hypnotism trick that they were doing, mass formation trick. But uh, uh, there was just so many things. And by cataloguing all of these stupid things, perhaps will prevent people from falling for this kind of thing again in the future. So what I'd like, if you can, is if you can remember one or two such nonsensical stories, email me at tim at fairplaynow.net uh, with the one you remember. If you can also just put a quick note on there of, first of all, the rough date that the story occurred and also uh, the person, whether it's a politician or a celebrity, or whoever it was, the publication that came out with it. Um, just so I've got a bit of reference there to go on uh, would be ideal. But yeah, please send in your story of what you remember there. Um, yeah, sort of personal stories, uh, we, we can do that as well. But at the moment, I'm interested in just these things officially appeared, um, which... I'm hoping to get a bit of a collection together and then who knows, maybe I can put together either a, uh, a longer video showcasing them all or even write a short book on it. So that way we can keep a historical record of just quite how mad things got over the last three years. So if you can do that, please email me at tim at fairplaynow.net and I look forward to being reminded of many silly things. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave it. I've got to uh, get ready to go in the not too distant future uh, down to Burgess Hill tonight. Greatly looking forward to the evening. Um, sadly not to the free bar that's there because I've got to keep sober for the filming and also I'll be driving back home afterwards. Uh, but. Uh, I'm sure many people will be partaking of that. And I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fairplay Now, thanks for watching.